It's the biggest such event in southwest Scotland and crowds flocked to Park Farm Dumfries for the 49th annual Dumfries and Lockerbie show. It was billed as the day the country comes to town and the cream of the region's livestock was in show. Judges from around the UK faced difficult decisions as they viewed the well turned out animals. It was a time for renewing acquaintances for shepherds of all ages. The sheep rings were again particularly busy, with traditional breeds doing battle with more recent arrivals from overseas. And not all the animals were willing to cooperate. With difficult decisions to make, attention to detail was vital. The variety and quality of the cattle in the livestock aisles was impressive, and among the breeds popular with visitors were the iconic Highland cattle. Local breeder, Alistair Fitzsimmon, farms only a few miles from the show field. How long have you been showing at Dumfries? Uh, uh, this is our second year. Uh, last year was with Championship last year. Here. And it's Highland cattle you show? Sure? Yes. What, what do you like about the Highlands? Yeah, I just think their character is... Uh, more than anything, you know, they just, they just got so much character about them. Um, they're, they're easy to handle. Uh, and do you have a lot of preparatory work to do? Oh yes, I, there, there, there's a lot of to do, a lot, a lot of work to be done before, like, you know, preparing before you come in and you do all the, the horns and, and the feet and the face things and, and if there's any, any, any of the finer touches gets done when they come in here. There's something for everyone, say the show organisers, and the chariots of fire display team from Borland and Lockerbie were part of the general entertainment. But the highlight of the show was undoubtedly the grand parade watched by a large crowd. A team of experts gave a commentary on the prize winners which were being led round the field. It was a busy afternoon for Margaret Kingan. As wife of the show chairman, she was given the honour of presenting the trophies. With dozens of trophies to present, it was a major logistical operation to have the right ones ready. Some of the cups originate from the old Lockerbie show, which amalgamated with Dumfries almost half a century ago. Some of the young handlers were able to demonstrate their skills. There was also a strong entry of goats. Horses were again a big part of the show. The judges praised the quality of the horses in the competition rings, while the show jumping was of national importance and was a qualifier for the Horse of the Year show. There was a big cheer for the ever popular Clyde Sales. Back at the trade stands, business was booming. Machinery companies reported a lot of interest. And while today's high-tech modern tractors looked impressive, preserving farming heritage was on the agenda of the Friesen Gallery Vintage Machinery Club, who also had a stand. Right, the lorry, it's a fortune lorry, as you probably can see, and it's 1954, and it's only in 6,780 miles from new. It's still on its original tyres. Originally it was new to the ICI, and then uh, came out of the ICI after several years and was made and painted up into the Fortune dealership colours, as you can see it today. And are you pleased to have it at the show today? Oh, very much so. As the stand today, we have a Fortune, Ford and Fortune theme, so it was nice to have a Fortune lorry, as if it would have delivered the tractors in the day or when it was new. And what do you get out of the show? 
Oh, well, we get a lot of support and we've got a lot of customers, farmers, that have dealt and driven these uh, tractors and lorries from the 40s and 50s. And it's great pleasure for them to see them again. Back in the show field, long-serving farm workers were presented with special medals. And show secretary Esther Bickett perhaps deserved a medal for soldiering on despite a recent injury. It's gone very well. The weather has been extremely kind to us. We seem to have been very busy and everything seems to have done as we wanted it to do, which is lovely. And you're recovering from an injury. You've, you, your mobility has not been as good as it usually has usually been. Well, has it hampered you in any way? or have you? It, got... well, it has hampered me and I haven't been able to get around. But uh, fortunately, Rickabees gave us a loan of this golf buggy, which has allowed me to get around and I do appreciate it. Um, anyway, but there's plenty of people there to help me and they've been extremely good and I do appreciate all the help I've been getting this year. So you'll be looking forward to next year now, are you? What is it, does the work start now? Uh, we have a week when we get the results out and finish up from this year's show and then we'll have maybe a fortnight off and then we'll start again and then off we go. And if you're summing up today, how did it go? Today has been one of our good shows, that thing. Weather-wise it's been good and it looks as if there was a lovely atmosphere on the show field. Everybody seems to have enjoyed themselves and I hope they've had a good day. Variety and innovation are part of the show's recipe for success. And who knows, these alpacas from a Loch Maven farm, which made a popular guest appearance, may eventually feature in the judging rings. The recent Loch Abbey show chairman, Russell Kingan, and the rest of the directors and committee members are now already planning next August's event. It's been a busy day for you. How's it gone? We've had a good day. The weather's been kind to us. It was wet and... It was wet in the morning when uh, people were deciding what to do for the day, so there was no silage cuts and no grain harvested, so they came to the show instead. And we've had a lot of people through the gate, and the result is that I think we've had a very good financial day for the society, and we wish to spend some of that money on further improvements to the show field, and we hope that that will uh, give the facility an even um, better place to, to take part at. What improvements will you make for next well, year? We'll maybe add more roads, we might make... Uh, more uh, new penning for sheep and we might improve the signage for uh, uh, access to the show. How much work goes into creating an event like this? We have a very large um, committee who are always very keen to get involved and keen to do all the individual duties which keeps the whole show working uh, closely together. The show has been always improving the quality of the, the field that's available and the quality of exhibits. Uh, stock numbers are always high and we're always hopeful that they will always continue to, to rise in numbers.